you're stressed out already and then imagine being stressed out and like ugly no okay it's giving mom that really freaked me out that someone was like following me for years and using my content to catfish someone like that is scary what's up guys welcome or welcome back to the vlog i'm currently getting myself put together because i've said this again and i'll say it again getting yourself put together is important as a mom especially as a stay-at-home mom your day is probably going to be stressful anyways like you're stressed out already and then imagine being stressed out and like ugly no absolutely not so yeah take a moment go put your face on go put like some type of outfit on and i promise you will feel better your problems will not go away your kids will still be crying but you will feel better so let me tell you guys something a couple of years ago i got a message and you know i got a phone call a couple of years ago from this guy and when i answered the phone he's like hey is this so and so and i'm like yes and he's like oh um i'm just calling because and he's like stuttering right and he's like i know this is weird but there's someone pretending to be you and that person has been in a long-term relationship with one of my cousins and lately we've been getting more and more suspicious that this person may be catfishing him because they are not willing to meet him in person and my cousin is super in love with this girl and he sends her money and all these things right so basically someone in the world was using my pictures all of my posts on instagram all of my videos on instagram and tiktok to catfish some guy somewhere i think this guy lived in texas or something and um that's pretty scary so at the time that i was talking to this person that i found out i was pregnant with my daughter chloe and that really freaked me out that someone was like following me for years right and using my content to catfish someone like that is scary and very dedicated because this person they even messaged me um screenshots of what you know certain conversations and um profiles that had been used pretending to be me and a lot of the pictures we're not only like current day stuff but things from like 2013 14 like it's crazy and um to think that someone has been following me for that long and keeping up with my life for that long just to use my content to catfish someone else is nuts it's sick it's scary so that made me feel like scared for my life <laughs> and i decided that i was gonna make all of my social media private and it even kept me from making youtube videos if i'm being honest because i was like they just know so much about me that was very very scary very scary stuff so recently since i've started back up on my youtube channel and just being more active on my social media accounts i realized that i'm not going to grow in the way that i want to grow my accounts if i do have them private for a lot of reasons and if you create content then you know and i can't live my life scared that someone might potentially do this again so i talked to my husband and i was sharing with him all the things that i was thinking and my husband is really good at motivating me to do the things that bring me happiness and he inspires me to like chase my dreams and all these things right so he pretty much tells me like don't let other people pretty much dictate your life and what you do and what you don't want to do you know because at the end of the day life is keeps going and if you're constantly living your life according to other people 
are you really living? I don't think so. So, anyways, shout out to my husband for always inspiring me and motivating me to do the things that I want to do. We love a supportive husband. <sighs> so, after his pep talk, I decided that I was going to make my accounts public again and just kind of pick up where I left off. And if someone is going to use me to catfish someone else, it's like my husband said. He's like, you know, you should be flattered. It's not like they would use someone who they thought was ugly. <laughs> and he's like, they obviously used you because they thought you're attractive and they could get what they want with your pictures, with your videos, whatever. And he's like, that's something to be flattered about. And I mean, I don't see it that way. I don't want to be flattered in that way i don't want someone to be catfishing someone else with my face <laughs> that's weird but um you know he's kind of right and so if you're using my content to this day you're welcome <laughs> i want to go for a walk because it's important that i get out of the house for my mental health if you're struggling with mental health after giving birth get out of the house just go do something outside breathe some fresh air be in nature do it it's important you feel so much better and it's good for your baby too just get out get your favorite drink go for a walk it's good so that's what i'm gonna do some people are like oh like i don't have time for that well make time you're important. You deserve it. You deserve to look good. You deserve to feel good. And your kids deserve it too. They deserve a happy mom. Okay, also, you may not like what I'm gonna say, or you may agree. I think it's important that when your husband comes home, you look pretty, you're clean, you're put together, you brushed your hair, you got out of your pajamas. Okay, you washed your ass and I think that that is important not just for him but for you I mean you should do it for you and all of these other things benefit from it get out of your pajamas put a little effort brush your hair put on some like earrings you know just put on some lip balm or something I was watching this girl's um, video and she was saying that she struggles with uh, what to wear as a stay-at-home mom and a very easy way to get yourself ready other than being in like a robe or um, pajama or whatever your sweatpants or whatever is buying sets off of Amazon like the matching sets it's so easy and then you can just put over like it's kind of chilly out now so like a little cardigan or like a cute little jacket it's just so easy it looks like you tried but you didn't for example, look up. I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. Don't make fun of me because I gave birth 11 weeks ago to my second child, okay? Put a little respect on my name. I've had two babies under a year. No, in a year. I don't even know, girl, but like, it's a lot, okay? So look, I got this little, um, I got this one piece thing off of Amazon. I got one in this um, brown color and I got a blue one. So I have a brown one, I have a blue one, a pink one, black, a cream colored one. Um, I'm actually gonna order more because I, I use them so much and you can just throw it on, put a little something over it. I'm gonna go to the park with my daughter so I just put this over it. Um, put some sneakers on and you just, you looked like you tried and you didn't and I think today is a hat day because I have like three day hair. Okay, it's giving mom. It's giving mom. It's giving mom vibes. It's giving what I need. Okay.